Good morning, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> I've done a few different layouts here, and uh, I've set us up with a bunch of crystal healing. Got the candles going for us. Um, incense, Palo Santo. My intentions is set that we all get a good healing today. Um, so the first question that I asked this morning, I really wanted to know how many of us are awake. And of course, that's a broad question because, and I made that clear to them that I understood that because we're not, none of us know everything, but I wanted to know how many people were awake to at least something that concerned the cabal's plan for all of us, right? So some form of awake and awareness, okay? So that's the first question that I asked after I set all of my intentions. And I got a pretty, this is really actually very good, you guys. So driving the whole reading, um, there's been a lot of uh, suffering. and But that suffering has created a major sharing, right, which has led us to victories. So, you know, through this hardship that we are all enduring and, um, you know, some people obviously are enduring worse than others and have for, for a while, but there's a sharing going on and that's these communities. It's like this, we're, we're all sharing our knowledge and, um, there's a lot, a lot of stuff on the back channel. So through this, we're getting victories. So a lot of people are waking up through this. Now, representing the question, you guys, we got the queen of wands and right above that, the hanged man, which is enlightenment. So the queen of wands, that's a big deal. Like there's way more of us awake than what we think or would know or have even guessed. So across from that, we have like happy endings, big shifts coming. So you know what? I would say just by looking at this, I could have pulled more cards. I didn't think that I needed to, honestly, because this is saying to us, there are far more people awake than we realize and that really we've reached a precipice where it's it's like as many needed are awake as as will be and that that's created a major shift and all of this hardship you know and all of us sharing our information people just waking up or even just questioning you know why they've been five times boosted and still getting covid all of these things are creating a victory for us you guys so <clears throat> excuse me, there are a lot more people awake than what we are, than what we think. Lots more people are awake to some degree than what we had even imagined. So this is really a good reading. We're victorious. You know, we've, we've really reached the point where we have all we need. Like practically everyone is awake to some degree, you guys, to some degree, they're questioning things and it's created big shifts you know, and victories. And we have like the majority is, is awake. And really a lot of this came from the sharing that we're doing. And unfortunately, you know, through some suffering, but we've reached a really good point of awake and awareness. So that's exciting. You guys, that's what I'm getting anyways. And that's really exciting. And I've been saying for a while, I feel like, you know, as many are awake as will be, um, and then for anybody that's still really sound asleep in this, it's going to take quite a lot to shake them awake, I think, but we're the majority and we're looking good, victorious, victorious. So the next question that I asked, I wanted to know, um, you know, show me as far as we, the people go, show me where we stand in this, uh, war against the cabal and what they had planned for us. So what's driving this entire reading is balance is being created because what happened with the cabal, we live in this world where there's contrast. There's supposed to be contrast, but it's supposed to be balanced. Um, and what happened was we became very unbalanced and the darkness, you know, had the majority because there was such an imbalance. Of course, people didn't understand that. Right. So, in cleaning this stuff up, we're creating a balance back on this world again. And that's what's driving this entire reading. The balance is coming back in. We're winning. 
went in, you guys. See how they have to drop their swords there? And then above us, we have the, the emperor, and you know that's the divine masculine. Um, that's also the alliance. Uh, but that's the, you know, listen, this is like, this is a spiritual war, and we've got the divine masculine on our side. You think about that for a second, right? So then we also have leaders doing a lot of work for us. The majority of the work has been done to help us recreate this balance. There's a lot of worrying that people are doing that's for nothing, right? But that would go hand in hand with understanding that there are scare tactics going on to kind of get people shifting so that we can have victories of people being aware of, you know, the cabal's plan against us. But that's that's a worry in for nothing card. So there's a lot of unnecessary worry that's that's not real. It's made up. And above that, we have the star. So transcending. We're transcending things. So we're doing really good. Uh, our side is winning. We're transcending things. We have leaders that are working on our behalf, doing a lot of work. And the work is nearly done, right? So that's that's fun and interesting and happy to hear. <laughs> so yeah, the balance is being recreated. We're winning. We've got the divine masculine on our side. We have leaders doing a lot of work. Um, you know, yes, there's a lot of worry, but things are being transcended. So we're actually doing really good as far as you know, we're we're beating the cabal. It's they can't win. It's just not gonna happen. So then I asked, you know, show me show me where the cabal stands in their plans for us. So that's what this layout is, right? So the cabal, they're having to walk away from things. They're having to walk away. I I just love seeing that. They're having to walk away from things. Uh, the community is growing smaller, okay? And then across from that, the Page of Cups and the Pentacles. Well, we know that's how they make their money, right? You know what the Page of Cups stands for. That's that's really a small person card. That's 12 and unders. And then their abundance. But driving this entire reading, you'll see the devil's on the bottom of this Wheel of Fortune. This is a major arcana. The devil's on the bottom. So we're talking about the Cabal. Basically, that's the devil, right? So they're on the bottom. Their time is ended. But they're hanging in there. They're They're hanging in there. They're... They're, uh, they're using every bit of strength that they do have, okay? So, you know, these guys don't want to give up without a fight, and we know that. But their community is growing smaller. They're having to walk away from things. Their time has ended. Um, and if you read this across, they're having to walk away from things. Their time has ended. And this is probably ending for them as well. But they're they're hanging in there strong, you guys. They're they're really they're gonna go down scratching and clawing. But they're on the bottom and their time has come to end and they know that. They're just hanging in, grasping for any bit of strength that they have. Uh as far as this page of cups and their pentacles go, we know that those missions are going on to save the kids, but that's their that's their major that is their major uh, form of abundance. And that's still a problem. That's still a problem, you guys. For how much longer, I don't know, because their time is ending. Um, I mean, look, those are dead sticks. There's nothing left to that journey. Their, their time is up. And they're on the bottom. And they're having to walk away from a lot of their plans. And their community has grown much smaller. There's nothing above, uh, nothing in that community, around that community that says it has any strength. There is still some strength here. So there's still work to be done there, you guys. But, so basically, you know, we're winning. Uh, the majority of us are woken up. The Cabal's time is ending, but they still have strength in this area. And we, we really want to manifest that 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 uh, that gets taken care of. That's going to be a while, I think. Unfortunately, there are so many minions and so many people that deal in this type of stuff. So um, I guess I should have done this, but I'm going to do it right now. I'm just going to cut the cards, and I'm gonna 
I'm going to ask um, the question. <laughs> I don't have much room here, you guys. Uh, I'm going to ask the question. Um, how do I want to word this? I, I want to know uh, what their finances actually look like because that's where they're making most of their money still. That's still a problem, you guys. So I want to know um, what their finances look like right now. Because we're trying to end their finances, right? So that they can't, they can't do all this stuff. So I'm going to ask off their abundance card. Moving forward. Ah, they've got hidden treasures. Yeah. So they're moving forward because they've got hidden treasures. So there's still a lot more out there that needs to be taken from them. They still have they still have wealth behind them. So, yeah, so the war the war rages on, right? As we know. As we know, they still have they still have hidden treasures moving forward. So that's been what's been enabling them to stay abundant and keep doing what they're doing. Um, so I guess before I finish this reading, I've gotten us all kinds. I've got us this nice uh, rose quartz, love, 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 amplified with a bunch of clear quartz. Uh, I've got you know I've got the chakra chakra stones and and protection wands and um, wants to open the mind and, and ground us and open the heart. Yeah, lots of stuff. Plus, I've lit our candles and our incense, pulling in that feminine energy so that we have that clear seeing, clear knowing, intuition. I've set a lot of intentions this morning, you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the cards and I'm going to ask the question. Um, I'm going to ask the question. I just want to see a little story. Show me a little story about how much wealth has been taken from them. Because I believe we've, I believe we have taken quite a bit of their wealth. Of course, you know how much they had stored up. It's just ridiculous. But I just want to see how much have we, like, are we winning this, like, as far as taking their wealth away from them? Yeah, yeah. So even though they are abundant moving forward because they've got his hidden treasures and and this also represents more of this, right? So they've still got the children and they're still making money from that moving forward. Things are still hidden there. Uh, they've got things hidden, which, you know, this is this is a hell of a process. When I asked if we've gotten the majority of their assets, uh, we got the Empress, which is yes. So I hope that you guys find a little bit of peace and a little bit of comfort in this. Um, know that they're on the bottom. Their time is ending, but they are hanging on with every bit of strength that they've got. And they do have hidden assets and hidden children still. Um, but they're having to walk away from a lot of things and their community is growing smaller. So, and we over here, we're worrying about a lot of things that we don't need to worry about. Um, Balance is being restored. We are we are winning this war. We do have the divine masculine on our side. This is karmic, you guys. You know, this is more than white hats. And it's just, this is like, this is God. This is uh, source. This is, it's karmic. We have to, this, this world is meant to be balanced. And this cabal has created a major, um, a major shift in the balance. So we have to bring it back. We have to bring it back. And so we're taking things back. So, yeah, we have source on our side, the divine masculine. We also have leaders that are doing a lot of work on our side. Uh, and then, of course, the emperor also represents the alliance. So a lot of worry, but things are being transcended. So that looks good for us. Most of us have woken up at this point. There's been some really big shifts. We should be celebrating that, even though that's maybe not what we see or what we think we see or how we feel, because this does feel like sort of an alone journey. We've we've reached a point where uh, we have all we need. 
And it's come through. These victories have come through a lot of people suffering, but there's all this sharing going on and we're reaching this victorious point where many, 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 this is the queen of wands. So she's the mass manifester. She is abundant. So if we're getting her representing the question, people that are awake and aware are abundant and, you know, and enlightened and yeah, massive shifts have happened here. So you know, we're doing good, you guys. Let's hang in there. Again, we've got this. Um, I got all of these intentions set and all of this crystal healing out for us, plus all the crystals that are just surrounding me. My guides know the intention. So for all of you, just breathe in, relax. If you want to take in some of this healing energy that I have intended for us all this morning, just, just decree that you want to do that for your highest and greatest good only and always. And uh, until next time, you guys, much, much love, many, many blessings from me to you. I hope that you found a little comfort and some peace and some value in this. Uh, keep manis manifesting that these guys will keep seeing these guys lost because right now they, they do have that hidden wealth. They do have hidden children moving forward. That's where they're at. Although their time is ending, they are on the bottom here, you guys, and their time is ending. But, you know, they're hanging on with every little bit of strength that they've got. And that's because they still have these resources, although we've taken the majority of them. Okay, you guys, until next time, much, much love, many, many blessings from me to all of you. All right, take care.